I've had a long history with the Final Fantasy series. I've been playing the games through most of my life, so the franchise is kind of close to me. But I hadn't finished them all before, and Final Fantasy IX marks the last mainline entry that I needed to play. Final Fantasy IX kind of embodies everything that Final Fantasy was up until the year 2000. It has the production value of the PlayStation games with, well, at least at the time, great graphics and, you know, these big CG cutscenes, but has the light-hearted humor of the Super Nintendo games with characters jumping all around the screen, shouting out little catchphrases and stuff, like the dwarves saying, Rally Ho! and stuff like that. It's also the last game in the series to use the more traditional active time battle system. Essentially, you have a timer that fills up for each character, and then they can take an action. Future games in the series would use similar kind of spin-off ideas of the active time battle system, but this is the last traditional implementation of it. The game also looks like a lot of the old Super Nintendo releases too, with the medieval style and setting. The 3D character models aren't as expressive as, say, the later Super Nintendo releases with detailed 2D sprites. I mean, obviously you can't cram that much detail into these low polygon and low resolution character models. Speaking of the resolution, one of my biggest complaints with this game is that, and it really can't be blamed for it, the resolution is really low, so there's this great art style underneath a pixely mess. Uh, and it's really hard to see what these characters look like unless they're right up on the screen. But despite being a bit obscured, the characters in general are, are really likable. They each have their own charm and flaws, and it can get a bit cheesy at times, but it never takes itself too seriously. The game came out just on the cusp of voice acting becoming a really popular thing with the PlayStation 2, and I think it benefits from that. A lot of scenes that were probably would have been a lot more cheesy with voice acting feel a lot more effective with just text. Even when it does get a little dramatic, there's a lot of humor still in it. It never fails to inject something here or there that will make you laugh. My biggest complaint from a functional standpoint is that the battle system is kind of slow. Even if you crank up the battle speed to maximum, it's just the animations are long and drawn out. There's a big gaps between different attacks, so it will take a while for one character to attack after another. And when you do set the battle speed to maximum, you end up with a lot of characters queued up waiting to attack for long periods of time. The random encounter rate just feels slightly too high, but that's just kind of a complaint of pretty much any JRPG of its time. The game also takes a long time to let you experiment with your party lineup. For most of the game, you really can't change your party members out. The game decides who you'll have and when. It doesn't give the player the ability to change a character's job or class or anything like that, but it still allows players to customize the characters through abilities they can equip. These abilities can significantly alter a character's resistances, stat boosts, skills, so these are something you're constantly managing to fit each situation. I find Final Fantasy IX to be kind of an interesting game. It's not only a good game with a well-paced story, beautiful art style and soundtrack, a decent amount of customizable stats, a likable story with lovable characters that doesn't take itself too seriously. It also does a good job of serving two major functions. One, it's a great nostalgia piece for those who grew up with the series. It touches on a lot of the themes and the atmosphere of the old Final Fantasy games. And because it touches on so many, Nine just acts as a great summary piece for those wanting to know more about the series and not necessarily, you know, play six different games. So if you can get over the, the slower paced battles and maybe the the kind of messy resolution of the game these days, I highly recommend checking out Final Fantasy IX.